how to create stars in Photoshop 221. Seems to be an issue with it. Some, I've had quite a few messages, people saying, I can't seem to get to create stars anymore. I'm not really certain why, because quite often the message just says, I can't create stars. So it's, because uh, I'm just gonna quickly run through the settings. So just remove that. I shall just go back to a completely fresh document. And I'm gonna initially go for shape. I'm just gonna run through the whole lot. So shape, and the key one here is here, the options here. Just hover over there and you can see set additional shape and path options. Click there and you've got this option here, start ratio. Set it at 50%. So if I have it at 100%, let's go for 100% initially. You can see it's a polygon. To create a star, simply set it to 50% or 70%. So 50% and then you can see the star. Now you can also, and I'm just it's probably gonna be easier to do it this way, is you've got properties. So window and properties. And if you go there, you've got properties and you can see the number of see star sides you can create. And just increase it. So you can create that very quickly, create lots of very intense stars. But also what you can do, you can also change that star there, the star ratio. So you can push it out like that, that sort of star, or make it really intense that way. And of course you can still modify the side so you can still see that. So it's really just a combination of these settings down here. And also you can round it as well. So you can create a nice rounded design. Most of the time I never use that, I must admit. It's one of those things that I normally keep it like that. But it's really quite a nice feature, this thing. And also of course you can modify various other things as well. But you can do exactly the same with this, the path option. So I'm just gonna to go to path now. Now I'm just gonna put it back to a completely fresh there. Now when I do this, the path, again, exactly the same there. And you've got exactly the same options in this properties. You can also change them over here. Now if you change it here and say, turn it to 78%, it doesn't interactive. This is not interactive. So if you're changing it here, you go to 100%. It's not going to change the current selected star. It can only be, this just puts it to the value that you're going to use next to create the next star. So maybe that's been the issue, I don't know. But here is the key thing, properties. So if you've got properties, properties panel means once you've got this design, you can change again the path, you can tweak that. You can see obviously it changes the history there as it changes. And you can also modify the star ratio, put it to a, obviously 100, it's a polygon set it down to 40 or 30, and you've got a really intense start, and this is a path. And also again, you can still change the round in there. And it's all interactive. I'm just gonna put it back to start point now, and I'm gonna go with the next one, which is the shape, the pixels one. Done the shape, so that's not much use. So pixels. Now this one doesn't have the feature in the properties. So if you go to properties and you apply it, then it's basically frozen. You've just applied it, it doesn't change. You can only set it up here. Slightly odd, isn't it? It sort of doesn't sit, but that's the way it's done. It's a destructive effect. So I'm just gonna go up here and you've got star ratio. The key thing is like 50%, set it to 50% and then create the star. If you set it to uh, 20% and I'm going to change the colour so you can see it against that. You can see you've got a more intense star. And of course you can apply it over the top. So you can create all numbers of stars there. And of course what you can do, you can also change this. So make it 14. And also you can change around them as well. But again, the key thing is, as soon as you apply it, that's it. You can't change it again. It's That's frozen. Just go back to a fresh document and say always the key thing is this star ratio. When you're using the pixel mode, just change it. And most of the time, keep it 50 from creating the star. But of course, it depends on the star you want to create. Now, if you want to create a smooth star ident here, simply select that. And then you've got that sort of star there. Not particularly much of a star, but it's still sort of a, an interesting advertising design. I think that would be the best way of describing it. 
So there's a number of settings here. I'm going to turn that off. Very rarely use that uh, feature. So 50% and apply the star. Ah, oh, still got the setting there. So I'm just going to change that, put that to zero. And again, always change the, so you put it five, apply it like that. And that's it. So if there's any problems with this star, I'm not really certainly certain what's going wrong. Why? Because lots of people put messages saying they can't get the star to be generated. So please let me know the steps you're doing that you, you can't seem to get a star design. Be really great. And then obviously, uh, hopefully, try and work out what's going wrong. If you've got any other questions, any comments, please let me know. Also, a dislike or like. And also, please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always any new tutorials about Photoshop. Illustrator, even though I must admit, this one is a slight recap of a previous one on the star, but uh, it's just because of all the comments. I thought I must do it again. Thank you much.